Let me um, therefore just add a couple of observations from the point of view of the literary critic. Mark Shinanti said this morning that the topic, the writer and religion, should also somehow concern uh, the notion of the writer. How does a writer cope with religious topics? And I thought it might be of interest, since Mr. Gaddis said that he understands the writer as a writer of fiction, to perhaps uh, make a couple of observations about the difference between a writer of fiction and a poet. I would assume that the difference between the poet and the writer of fiction may have something to do with the difference, and this is a very um, ambitious thesis, with the difference between Catholicism and Protestantism. Since Catholicism is a religion much more related to the notion of institutions, of politics, of power, what Bill Gass has just been talking about. Whereas, of course, you said, what did Luther do? Well, he did something. He created an individual religion, a religion that centers on the individual, that centers on individual grace. And when one opposes these two notions, religion as an institution, or religion as a numinosum, an, an experience, that has something to do with the notion of Protestantism, then I think it stands to reason that religion can become an object that can be treated in a fiction, but that the fiction writer, in effect, can never really transmit or convey a religious experience. And I'm not talking about poets here. And my thesis would be that the discussion that has been going on for the last decades in literary criticism about the importance of the narrative voice may have something to do with the fact that the narrator is an agent of secular, secularization. I t actually thought of this notion when I read this, uh, the sentence in Mr. Gaddis's lecture, that the manifest difference, as he says it, between the priest and the writer is in the writer as a secret teller grappling with his audience, one reader, one page at a time, and the priest engages the collective delusion of his entire congregation all at once. 